looked at the baseline levels of these hormones, so at eight to nine years of age, um, children who had higher levels of these hormones compared with their peers and their friends, and we found that those children had higher levels of emotional and behavioral problems, even at, as I say, even at eight to nine years of age. Um, we then looked at that, as I say, across um, sort of longitudinally with these multiple samples that we've collected. And we saw that um, children who had higher levels of these hormones across those later years of primary school, so across years five and six, um, that they um, that the, having higher levels of hormones during those years predicted later depressive and um, depressive symptoms in, in early adolescence. And that effect was stronger for girls than boys, um, which kind of ties into this kind of um, gender difference in, in depression that emerges around this time. Um, we also found that girls and boys who had higher levels of these hormones um, also had greater levels of body dissatisfaction as well during this time. Mm -hmm.